Thousands of Chevy Cruises are parked outside GM Lordstown, but it's not enough. And that's leading to a monumental change. First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us what GM is doing and what dealers think. Historically, it's been one of GM's best-selling cars, but recently sales of the locally built Chevy Cruze have been so strong, dealerships have had to wait for new models. The demand's been fantastic, and they've been rolling the model a little slower because we want to make sure they're 100% right. Spitzer Chevy manager Barry Gonis tells me his dealership usually sells 15 to 20 Cruises a month, but right now he only has about 30 in stock. We like to uh, have it ramped up to about 70, 75 cruises on the ground, but we still have a great selection, and they're going to slowly be coming in. This week we learned the usual summer shutdown at the Lordstown plant won't be happening as managers work to maintain production levels. But today we were told GM will also begin shipping in cruises made in Mexico this fall to supplement what's being produced locally. It's kind of an anomaly in the very cheap gas scenario. <laughs> um, there aren't a lot of smaller cars that are selling very well, but the cruise continues to sell well even in this environment. Zedcheck tells me the existing contract with the United Auto Workers allows for cruises to be brought in from outside the country if domestic production is strong. Local sources are calling the change only temporary, adding that only a limited number of Mexican cruises will be shipped in. The cruise is slated to be at Lordstown through uh, the end of this decade, so it, it's, it's great to have a product that's selling well. Although the new Mexican-built cruise hatchback is to arrive in showrooms this summer, the sales staff at Spitzer is hoping their next shipment of cruise sedans from Lordstown arrives before the end of the month. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.